Hello everybody at St. Joseph Parish, all my wonderful parishioners out there. Father Peter Reddick here for another little video, and today's video is going to be about indulgences. Do we believe in indulgences? Yeah, we do actually as Catholics. But you think, well, wait, I thought that was gotten rid of a long time ago. I thought that the church abandoned that belief. No, actually, we still do believe in it. And oftentimes when we think of an indulgence, we think of selling indulgences, like the abuses that happened in the Middle Ages, but that was bad. Those were done by bad people. That doesn't make an indulgence bad. So what is an indulgence? An indulgence is a forgiveness of punishment. Say, God basically saying, get out of jail free card from purgatory. So we believe in purgatory as Catholics. But say, if we pass away and we end up in purgatory, we have to spend time there to be purified before we go to heaven. But what an indulgence does is it allows us an opportunity to erase that purgatory time to be able to go straight to heaven if we pass away. So the practice of indulgences are very encouraged, very much encouraged in the church so that we can go straight to heaven when we pass. So. An indulgence, as I said, is a get-out-of-jail-free card. It's kind of like God saying, don't worry about it. It's okay, because you offered up these prayers to me for good reasons, for good purposes. Now, let me give you a scenario, okay? You might be thinking, Father, what are you talking about? But here's the thing. Let's say any of our sins can be compared to a boy playing baseball, right? He decides to play baseball in the backyard, and he knows there's houses around, but he doesn't care, right? He's playing baseball, and he knows that house of Mr. Von Handorf is right there, and he hits it anyway, and it goes straight into the window of Mr. Von Handorf's house. So, what does the little boy have to do? Well, his mother tells him to go tell Mr. Von Handorf that he broke his window. Knock, knock, knock. I'm so sorry I broke your window. Okay. Apologizing for the offense is kind of like going to confession, right? So we say we're sorry by going to confession, right? Or we say we're sorry to God directly if it's a venial sin. God forgives us, but the window is still broken. Is Mr. Von Handorf going to fix that window at 98 years old? You have to go fix that window. So what do you do? You go down to the hardware store. You get DAP. You get window panes, you get wood, and you fix that window. That is an indulgence. An indulgence is forgiving the punishment that we've incurred that we owe in purgatory. So it's applicable to any situation. And what I have here is a book called The Handy Dandy Manual of Indulgences. I carry it around everywhere I go. Just kidding. I only use it about twice a year. The Handy and Dandy Manual of Indulgences tells us of the different types of indulgences, which there are two. There's plenary indulgence, which is a total indulgence, meaning it gets us out of purgatory completely if we do certain prayers and acts. They're a little bit more hardcore than the next type of indulgence. The next type is called partial indulgence. A partial indulgence basically cuts our purgatory time in half or cuts a fraction of it off. So those are a little bit easier, naturally, because you don't get the full delivery from purgatory. But what are some examples of indulgences? Let's look in our manual of indulgences. There are tons of opportunities for indulgences that you probably didn't even know, and some that surprised me when I first found out. For example, there are prayers that give indulgences, prayers alone. For example, the Domine, the evening prayer, praying evening prayer, litanies of the saints, little offices of the saints, the Magnificat, the Memorare prayer, prayer after thanksgiving for church, prayer for the church, prayer for deceased, prayer of farewell after the liturgy, the rosary, Salve Regina, the Te Deum, and many more prayers. I highly encourage you to look them up. For actions of indulgences, we have these. We have Eucharistic adoration, we have First Communion, Good Friday, going to a Good Friday service, going to Holy Saturday, Holy Thursday, New Year's Day, plenary indulgence, going to Mass of Pentecost on the Solemnity, Peter and Paul Solemnity of the Holy Apostles, and a pilgrimage such as the one of St. James, a 
pilgrimage can be any type of walk or visitation to a site. Now there are rules for indulgences that we have to do. I highly encourage you to look up those rules and put indulgences in your life because the church and God gave them to us so that we can get out of purgatory. God bless you.